What's up, knife people? Back again with another knife video. Wanna uh, take your time today with an unboxing, if you guys let me. But first of all, I wanted to say thank you to you guys for uh, a little shout out, 100 subs. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Damn. Let's do it. Mm, one more. Ah. Anyways. There you go. You guys get the picture. Thank you guys for subbing. Thank you guys for um, all the support, all the comments. Um, I will have a little giveaway going uh, next video. So stick around and uh, I'll get that going. So I'm going to get into this unboxing here and uh, let you guys look at it. So without further ado, let's use this here. This is coming from DLT Trading. Very good shipping. They did uh, about like a two day shipping. I ordered on like this last Tuesday, got it on Thursday. Let me show you. Let it on YouTube. You got that. And we got a nice sticker here. Perfect. So here we go. That stuff don't matter. Look at that. I was wondering what this was. It is a handkerchief. So a nice DLT handkerchief. Appreciate that, guys. Awesome gift. Leave that there. Awesome. So this is what we got guys we got an lt right next gen abl flat ground my car oops it's falling through the cracks gotta gotta represent you guys so thank you guys with me again thank you guys for all the subs and i will go ahead and be giving back to the community i got a lot of good edc stuff to give away you know so i got a lot of edc packages coming for you guys just kidding by the way <laughs> anyway here we go this is without further ado bam check this out for those of you that know or don't know this is a uh, mountain, uh, I guess, mountain edition handle. So it has a lot of extra gripping, grinding on there. See all the grinding on the micarta, black micarta. Um, really liked it. Uh, been wanting to get a bigger fixed blade, kind of to complement my uh, guardian that I have. So we got this guy going here. Without further ado, bam, there's the blade. So very nice, look at that. Flat ground, AEBL steel. Look at that, sweet, huh? Black micarta, lanyard hole. Nice flat handle. Nice good grip. Turn the grip on that. Nice. Really nice. This grip feels great. And of course this my card is gonna wear in pretty good. There's that nice flat ground blade. Let's read you guys the specs real quick. Um, quick specs here. Overall length here. We have Overall length of 7.44 inches. You got a blade length of 3.47. An actual cutting length of 3.15 inches. Then you got a, of course, uh, a BL steel. That's what the L is for. So then you got a uh, blade thickness here of 0.13 so it's got a good stock nice thick stock on there very 
sweet. Of course you have the 90 degree spine, rough spine, starting here. Or you can do, uh, uh, you know, scraping uh, wood or fire starting. So again, I got this knife because, well, first of all, I liked it. And then the steel choice, they don't really make them very often in ABL. So I went ahead and jumped on it right away. You got the scalloped handles here too, so you can really get up on the blade like that, which is really nice. Center point of the blade is here, so you get a lot of good penetration, woodworking, whatever it is you're doing, feather sticking. Um, and before I go anywhere else, let's just give it a quick little cut test here. I got some cardboard. For those of you that like to see blades in action, here we go. No problem. no problem whatsoever so out of the box sharp do a quick little bleed and do a little hair test here uh -huh. in the right position so there you go shaves so a really good knife, not too big, not too small. I should have actually brought my Guardian out here to see the size, so the size is a good size. I originally wanted to get it because I got the Bush Baby, but it's a little too small. It's a lot thinner stock. This one also has, um, uh, it's a high carbon steel, so it's a little different, but you can tell the shape is about the same don't have the little choil here so a little bit of the difference there they're both black micarta um, you see the thickness difference there so blade shapes a lot of similarities but yeah so again, I'll be doing that giveaway, probably the next video. So stick around for that. I have some good prizes, hopefully. Just bear with me. So yeah, those are the two comparisons of the smaller LT right, Bush Baby and the Next Gen. So there you go. Pretty cool. I'll put them on the board later right now. <laughs> So yeah, not much more to really show or talk about. I mean, this knife is more about feeling in hand and uh, that's kind of what I wanted it. A little hefty, it's about five ounces. Um, again, it's full tang, obviously, all the way through. It's made in the US and the thickness was 0.85. So yeah, that's pretty thick. So we're good. So let's compare it here to a couple other knives. Let's see here, I got the Guardian. We'll put the Bush Baby up here too. Uh, the smaller knives last, and I'll do the other Guardian three that I have. So we'll shoot these here. Quick little look. You can see size wise, it's a little bigger, so it'll be good for taking out to the outdoors a little more, more outdoorsy. Shift these aside here. And Let's show some of these smaller fixed blades. This is uh, another LT Wright 
um, Patriot and G10, orange and black G10. Uh, you got the Frontier First and Burlap Ruby Micarta. Uh, this one's got a thicker blade stock than the normal. I think it's 0.14, so it's a little thicker stock. Actually, comparing it to this one, probably see the difference here. It's like a slight millimeter bigger or thicker, I should say, the red one here. So, yeah. So that one's got a thicker blade here. Uh, and then we have, and then I'll show the other two after. So you can see the size difference with the Patriot, about an inch or two bigger. So of course these are more EDC friendly knives, these little guys here. Like I said, it's more general purpose, you know. I can't carry this on my person every day, otherwise I probably would, but awesome knife. Really love it. Very well balanced, it feels like. Um, so here we go. Got another LT right here with a forced patina that I put on there with mustard. Uh, this one has uh, green micarta with orange liners, polished. And again, really cool knife. The little EDC, I use this more as a necker. Uh, the sheath here, I cut the back off and basically just keep it like that as a necker. So, we got this one here. And another little Damascus blade that I kind of customized a little bit here with plastic grip and cord wrap. This is an Enzo Damascus from DLT also. Nice little worker, little beat up blade just to kind of have around for kicks. Uh, so here we go. Compare these. A little more eye candy for you guys. So there we have it. A little muck. And again, hopefully I'm not taking too much of your guys' time here with all my junk. But I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me, uh, watching all my knives, watching all my videos. Really awesome. So again, I'll kind of end it on that note. Pretty cool knife. Really digging it. Giving it a thumbs up for sure. Actually, two thumbs up. So... If you guys like LT right, DLT should have some left, hopefully. Uh, again, AEBL steel, stainless. So don't have to worry about the patinaing too much on the blade, which is why I wanted to use this also for food prepping a little bit. So why, the main reason why I got the flat grind on there instead of saber grind. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got here, guys. So again, I really thank you guys all for watching. I thank you guys for subbing and I will definitely give a little back on the next one because if you guys like this kind of knives, you never know when you're gonna have to skin an elephant. So you need something a little bigger sometimes. So gotta get yourself a fixed blade. And LT Wright is a good company to do that. Really quality knives, all handmade. US made and that's it guys that's all I got so again if you like these knives stick around for some more videos and catch you guys on the flip side thanks for watching peace